My favorite feature, aside from the fact that you can easily transport and maneuver it using these rolls, is that you can actually store it vertically, just like that. And this way it's saving a lot of space and has a super small footprint. Look at that. Look how small it is. This way you can easily bring it and store it everywhere you go. By now I've reviewed quite a lot of e-scooters and this is something completely different. They took a whole other approach to building scooters. Got the new drip from the home. This is their newest e-scooter called the ES2. And by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box. There is no info whatsoever on this box. You can easily handle this on your own. No problem whatsoever. And on this side, it says Dahon, all right. Other than that, there is no info on this box, so let's just open it up. So check it out, box in the box for ultimate protection. No info on this other box either. And inside the inner box, we have the scooter right here. So there we have it. Now let me get rid of all the boxes. So there we go. And now let's remove all the protective stuff and let's unfold it. All right, easy as that. So first of all, we have this mechanism and the locking mechanism is actually up here. This snap basically, then just Tighten up the screw and now this is stable. And then here we have the handlebar open, close. Just grab it right here and you can pull it up. Then push down to lock it in place, easy as that. And you can stop this from unlocking by twisting this in this position and then it's fixed. And also you only need to pull this lever when you actually fold the, the steering bar. In this position you don't need to pull the lever just so you know. When you get to the accessories, we only got this box right here. And inside is of course the charging brick looks like this with the EU plug, all right. And back here we have the specs. So it's a 36 volt system. So first of all, let's hook it up and let's charge it. Not bad, right? And now let's take it out and let's go for a ride test. So here we go. First of all, let's pump up the tires, 35 PSI. <laughs> All right, there we go. So back in front, 35 PSI, we are ready to go. So let's turn it on, press and hold. Odometer, trip, and I think there's the voltage. Nice. Battery display for segments. We're in the eco, mid and high, and no assist whatsoever. Right on, eco. Yeah, and of course the light, little indicator. Front light right here and the back light. And when you pull the brake, it will also light up. So, there's the eco. So, let's check the eco mode. Oh, that's cute. 8 kph. Let's switch it to the mid mode. Oh, and the mid mode will take you up all the way to 19 kph and it will actually keep you there until you hit the brake. And then we have the high mode. Oh my God, that's a strong mode right there. And this one will take you up to full speed, 25 kph, of course. Nice. I love the voltage display. Absolutely smooth riding, as you can see. No noise whatsoever. So yeah, solid experience so far. Power kicks in quite hard. Smooth ride, super stable. This thing has power. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. You don't need to hold the throttle. It's quite convenient. I can just drive, have my fingers on the brake and you just need to tap the brake to stop the speedometer. That's not the right word. The thing is so silent, it's crazy. Braking power, mad powerful. Okay, hill climb, no problem. The scooter looks actually pretty dope outside. It looks really sturdy. Yeah, and while we're here, let me also demonstrate all the folding mechanisms. First of all, of course, the handlebar. Then the bar itself. And then this will snap in here. 
at the mud guard and then you can just lift it up right here and then use the rolls roll it just like that as i said the scooter is not heavy it's actually not that heavy but you can still just carry it like that roll it like that like a traveling case travel case so yeah that's super convenient so again when it's folded up you can just pick it up it's actually light it's really not that heavy but as i said you can also do this here we have the battery by the way and when you're done just unfold it lock it and the handlebar and we are ready to go brakes are mad powerful <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> Double disc brakes, mad stopping power. Love that. So let's go for another round around the lake. The Hohn's new ES2 scooter is an ideal travel companion. Thanks to the electric power, you can enjoy your ride. You don't have to strain, you don't have to exert effort, and it can take you up to 25 km per hour cruising speed without any problems. Thanks to the easy to view and great looking control panel on the steering bar, you're always in charge and you can check the speed and the battery status anytime. And lastly, here we have the specs sheet with all the details. It's, it's a really smooth ride. I can't complain whatsoever. I don't need to hold down the thumb gas, the throttle, it's, it's just going. And yeah, I can just have one finger on the brake, always be ready for braking. Yeah, it's, it's just such a smooth ride. So there we have it. As I said, it's looking really nice in the, in the real world. And it's a super smooth ride, super nice and big board. Yeah, and the new folding mechanism definitely works. It's super sturdy, no issues whatsoever. I mean, the thing is super sturdy no question about that yeah and these carrying rolls are also a nice new add-on so and we're back 18 kilometers on the odometer battery is still full well that doesn't tell us much except it has a super long range but yeah you saw the battery huge battery huge range top by now i've reviewed quite a lot of e-scooters and this is something completely different. It looks like a regular e-scooter from the first glance, but they took a whole other approach to building scooters. First of all, this one has a completely different folding mechanism for the bar, which is also flat, and also for the handles, which is actually quite nice to use, and I've never seen this before. It has nice handles for the hinges, basically. When you have these tiny handles, these tiny latches, I already heard myself many times, but this one you can grab easily, and also this one on top, so this folding mechanism is definitely super convenient. Secondly, all my scooters so far had a front wheel drive, but this one has a motor in the back. So this is a rear wheel drive scooter. And that is also something that I've never seen before. All wheel drive, yes, but back wheel drive, nope. So that's interesting for sure as well. Also, before I forget, it has dual disc brakes. That's also a first. All my other scooters only have one brake. But what I wanted to say, the board computer and the thumb gas and the brakes, all of that works perfectly fine. No issues on this front. But yeah, they went the extra step and implemented a second brake. Also, the shape is quite different from regular scooters. You have a pretty nice and big board. So you have enough space for your feet. It's like a surfboard and it's also built really sturdily hefty frame sturdy build but that of course makes it rather heavy and not so nice for carrying it but they also found a way to solve this issue and of course i'm talking about the secondary set of wheels above the rear wheel well you already saw it, the wheels above the back wheel the back tire yeah and thanks to this there is actually no need to carry it well except when it gets to stairs, of course. But mostly, for the most part, after folding it up, you can just roll it. And that makes it way easier. But honestly, it's not a heavy scooter. See, it's not... It's not a heavy scooter, so carrying it is it's it's no problem either. Anyways, yeah, lastly, the battery, the inbuilt battery is also quite huge for a scooter. So it's definitely great for commuting 360 watt hours. It's, this will give you plenty of range. So yeah, cool new concept all in all. And definitely drippy so check out the product links in the description if you're interested but before you go smash that like button then subscribe ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos that's it for this one enjoy your day and i will see you soon